root is one of the four output file format supported by the GM4 analysis manager. Simply put, a root file can be regarded as a compressed spreadsheet. Columns of the spreadsheet can be read into memory individually. That's why root can handle huge amount of data with easy. In addition to being the definition of a file format, root is also a data analysis tool commonly used by particle physicists. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to install and use root on Windows for GM4 data analysis. Let's go to root.cern and click the install button. Click download the release link to download a pre-compiled binary distribution of root. Go for the latest stable release. Scroll down to the bottom of the long list and download the 64-bit exe file for Windows. Run the exe file when the download is completed. If you see this warning message, simply click more info and click the run anyway button to launch the installer. It is important to add the root executable to the system path for current user so that Windows knows where to find it. If you cannot write to the C partition directly, change the installation folder to your user directory. Make a full installation. It doesn't require a lot of space anyway. Once the installation is finished, we can launch root from the start menu. A terminal with a root prompt will show up. Use .q and return to quit from the root interactive user interface. Remember, it is .q, not just q. Now, let me demonstrate how to use root to analyze GM4 output. I use my universal GM4 application, Gears, to generate a root file. To learn more about Gears, please click the link at the top right corner of this video. Let's go to the Tutorials Output subdirectory in the Gears folder, where you can find a GM4 macro file, radiate.mac. It contains GM4 macro commands to shoot 2.6 MeV gamma rays to a germane detector defined in the detector.tg file. The simulation output will be saved in the gears.root file. To perform this simulation, simply type in your file browser's address bar, gears radiate.mac and return. A terminal will pop up and display the progress of the simulation. It will disappear when the simulation ends. After the simulation, check if gears.root is indeed generated. There are two ways to open this file. The first one is to run the command root gears.root in the address bar. The second method needs more work at the beginning, but will be more convenient later. Select the root file first, and then right-click on it, select Open With, and check Always Use Root Executable to open .root files. Now you can simply double-click any root file to open it in the root browser. In the left panel of the root browser, we should be able to find the root file. Expand it, we'll be able to see a tree with a lot of leaves on it. Tree is just a funny name root uses 
to call a spreadsheet. Leaves are just columns of the spreadsheet. Double click a column name to draw the distribution of values saved in that column. If we start our route in a terminal, we can use the .ls command to check the names of the tree saved in that file, and then use the name of the tree to call different commands. For example, show zero command will list all the columns in that spreadsheet. And the draw command can be used to draw the statistic distribution of any columns. If you don't like typing in a terminal, you can always use this command to launch the root object browser from within your terminal. Meanings of variables saved in the Gears output root file are explained in the Gears webpage. XYZ are the location of a step point. PDG tells you what type of particles is associated to that point. K is the kinetic energy of that particle at that particular point, so on and so forth. In order to draw multidimensional distributions, we need to right click on the tree name and start a tree viewer where you can drag different variables to the x, y, or z axis and push the icon here to draw the multidimensional distribution. The x and y distribution of the GM4 stat points reveals that the detector is placed inside a vacuum chamber and the gamma rays are released from the bottom left corner. I'd like to point out that the draw command in the terminal or in the command line in the root object browser can also be used to achieve the same thing and in my opinion is more convenient than the graphic user interface for more complicated analysis. To learn more about the draw command, please visit Roots Reference Guide. You can also find example analysis commands on the Gears webpage, demonstrating how to visualize tracks, find out how many types of particles are involved in the simulation, and what's the energy deposition in the detector, and much more. Many people prefer to use Python for data analysis. There is a Python package called Uproot. We can use it to load the root spreadsheet to Python for analysis. The same trick works for Julia as well. To summarize, root is one of the four official GM4 output file formats. A root file is a compressed binary file, which can contain a lot of data in a small disk space. The root functionality is available in any modern GM4 installation. You don't have to do anything special to enable it. A root file can be analyzed using the root program which is my personal favorite. It can also be opened through the uproot package in Python or Julia.